Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day this morning. I pray that you are encouraged this morning. I pray health. I pray wealth. Come on, somebody, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This morning I was praying and I heard God says, tell them to stay consistent. Because let me tell you what happens. In the middle of transition, in the middle of trials and tribulations, in the middle of problems, people get discouraged. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. People start looking to this one and that one or something. God says, stay consistent. Stay consistent in your walk, in your talk, in your actions. There it goes right there. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You have to stay consistent. You can't move by your emotions, your feelings. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I know that's a big thing to say because guess what? We are composed of emotions. But God says you got you got to get that thing together. Come on, somebody. You got to be consistent. You got to pray to me for strength, for wisdom, for discernment, for encouragement. Come on, somebody. David encouraged himself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So there are some times you're not going to have a cheerleading team. Sometimes you're going to feel alone, but you have to encourage yourself, said the Lord. How do you encourage yourself? You get up early in the morning and you pray and you pray and you pray like you ain't never prayed before. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I pray on this fast that you are fasting on your face, that you are praying before God, that you are kneeling before God. Come on, somebody. Prostate prayer is the strongest position of prayer because you're laying down on that threshing floor. You're laying down and you're saying, God, I surrender. What you're saying, God, I need you. God, I surrender. I want your will. I want your way. I need you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're supposed to do that every day. And I'm not talking about just once a day, throughout the day. God, I just love you. God, I worship you in spirit and truth. God, I thank you. Come on, somebody. There it goes. Be thankful every day. Be humble every day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Be consistent because, you know, to be honest with you, a lot of people, they move on their emotions. If they're feeling good today, I'm going to give you glory, God. But if you're not feeling good, well, you know what? God knows my heart. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. He says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end. Is there anything too hard for me? You have to stay consistent because God is consistent. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is consistent. He woke us up this morning. God is consistent when he bless you. God is consistent when he keep you. God is consistent. Come on, somebody. He said, I change not. Come on, somebody. Somebody, hallelujah. So you have to stay consistent. A lot of people don't understand that because most people are moved by emotions. You know, let me tell y'all something what time it is. It is emotional warfare in this hour. Oh, come on, somebody. Why y'all think they brought all those reality shows? Y'all don't understand what's, what time it is. The enemy primes you. Just like a car. You, you, you know before a car get painted, it has to get primed, right? He strip, They strip it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching this morning. They strip you. And, and when they strip you, then they, they, they impose what they thought or what they want or what you should. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, don't let the enemy strip you. Somebody write that in the comments. Don't let the enemy strip you of what God have blessed you with. Don't let the enemy strip you of what God wants you to do. Don't let the enemy strip you on your thought life. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what they're doing right now is all this stuff is supposed to create an emotional warfare. Come on, somebody. Because emotional warfare leads more so to spiritual warfare. And so now if you are not diligent in your walk and your talk, come on, somebody, in your praying, reading the word, Oh, you in trouble now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So the enemy is, he's strategic. He's very strategic. So you have to be strategic too, says the Lord. You have to pray like you ain't never prayed. You got to get in your word. And I'm going to tell you something. The quieter you get before God, that's the louder you hear. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm preaching this morning. The quieter you get before God, the more you can hear clear. I used to always tell my, my, my students, if you can't hear clear, then you that that means that you don't know instructions from the Lord. That means you don't know God's voice. There it goes. How many of you today? And hold on, I'm not saying this to try to you know um, make you feel bad or whatever the case may be. But how many of you truly knows God's voice? You know without a shadow of a doubt that's God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And the only way you can get to that point is if you spend time with God. Come on, somebody. Time in a relationship, being consistent. God, I love you throughout the day. God, I love you if you bless me. God, I love you if you bless me not. God, I love you if you keep me. God, I love you if you allow trials and tribulations. And I may not even understand them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you, that's the consistency of God. So God said, can we just be consistent? I know you're not going to have good days all the time. No, you're not going to get blessed all the time. You're going to go through some stuff sometimes. He said, but can you just be consistent? Because I change, not said the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 
consistency. That's what we're talking about this morning. Come on, somebody. And it's not easy because there are things that's going to rock you to the core of your spirit. But you have to be encouraged, people of God. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you something. The enemy goal is to break your spirit. And if he break your spirit, he break your confidence. And if he break your confidence, he break your will. And if he break your will, you in trouble. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God says. So it is time for us to be strong in the Lord like never before. These are those times. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't let him impose his thoughts, his wills, because that's what he's doing by the emotional warfare. And why do I call it emotional warfare? Because things are happening in this nation, in this world to hit people to the core, a specific people sometimes. Oh, you heard what I said, how I said what I said. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We have to be consistent. You can't go off in anger because that's danger. And then danger is rage. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So yes, I call it emotional warfare because the enemy is trying to incite you. And if it incites you, guess what? He moves you out of position. In transition, you must learn position. You got to stay in position in transition. And it's hard because guess what? It's just like the weather, all right? You dress for different parts of the season. If it's cold, if it's hot, if it's raining. But when you're in transition, you have to shift. Okay, it's raining today. Well, I'm going to put on my raincoat. It's hot today. I'm going to put on some shorts. You have to be consistent in your shifting. I just said something. Some people don't shift. Well, you want to wear a winter all along. Guess what? It, it, it ain't winter all along. Oh, come on, somebody. Seasons change. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And when the seasons change, that's when you got to get close to God. Okay, God, well, how do I move? What do I do? What do I say? That's when you need specific instructions from God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah this morning. Consistency. Consistency. That's what's going to keep you. Consistency. You can't do it one day. At, thank you, Lord. I hear you. That's what most people do. And that's why they find themselves. Well, I'm not strong in the Lord because guess what? You flow off of how you move. I've just said something. You flow off of how you move. If you get up this morning and you're not feeling good, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Honey, you have to fight that thing mentally, physically, spiritually, sometimes emotionally. Let's be real. I'm going, God, give me the strength. God, give me the courage. God, give me the will. God, give me a word. Come on, somebody. The closer you get to God, the more you build up your spirit. Don't you understand? The closer you get from God, your spirit will be broken because the enemy will make sure of that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you got to stay consistent. I'm God. Keep me. Keep me. Teach me how to be consistent. Teach me how to be persistent in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. This stuff is real. This is, this is not a game. Life is not a game. I just said something again, because most people, people think life is a game. You think you really just came here just to chill out. Oh, I'm about to go in this morning. Smoke, drink, have sex, have fun. You must be out your mind because time is flying. What you going to do when they come for you? What is it? It could be death. It could be anything. What will you do when it come for you? Where will you spend eternity? Come on, somebody. You know, I'm going to be real about it because you can only play for so long before. Guess what? Ding dong, it's your turn. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it could be anything. It could be a test. It could be a trial. It could be death. It could be life. Could be a, ba a newborn baby that you didn't even think of. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. So you got to be consistent and persistent. God, keep me in whatever happens. Oh, come on, somebody. How do you sustain me, God? But you got to have a relationship with God. Most people don't have a relationship with God. The enemy main focus is to take you away from your God. In any capacity, he'll use anything and anybody. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And guess what? That's, his, that's what he's, he studies you every day. He knows your moves. But, but you don't study the enemy, but he studies you. He knows what you like, what you don't like, how you act. Notice, when things happen, they happen in a bunch. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I'm, I'm going to go here. I'm going to be transparent. I didn't know I was going to tell this story, but I guess I have to. The other day, I don't know what was going on. My God, my God, I was tested. Uh, this was about three days ago. So I'm in the store. And and I'm going in and um, I'm trying to pass behind this Caucasian lady and she's taking her time on purpose. But, you know, I'm trying to just be patient. And so finally, another group of Caucasian people pass by her and I'm trying to figure out why she's not hurrying up so I can pass. I mean, she don't have to rush, but I'm just not understanding. So she says this. She says, how y'all doing? I'm just waiting for this thing to pass. Yeah, she called me a thing. I just smiled. I didn't say anything. I was like, you know what? Maybe she's having a bad day. I'm just going to pray. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I said, okay, God, I don't know what's going on. I went to another store. Do y'all know the same thing happened? 
I went to another store and the same thing happened. I said, okay, God, I say, please help me. Cause you, you, you know me, y'all you, you, know what I'm saying. So, but I, I didn't say anything. So then we went to Walmart, right? Cause I'm trying to make sure my dad is gone. I mean, it is, um, is taken care of before I leave out of town. Right. So I'm making sure he has what he has need. So right when we get out the car at Walmart, I said, God, I said, Dad, I'm gonna apologize to you right now. I said, what why? I said, because I don't know if I could hold um, you see, I'm an apostle, and I'm not saying alter egos here, but we are we are human. I said, I don't know if I could hold Dini back. That's my nickname. I said, I don't know. I said, cause she didn't got attacked twice today. Y'all ain't ready for me. Somebody gonna get what I'm saying. By the time I put it out of my mouth, you know, this young girl. Um, we were crossing over to go into Walmart. She speeded up and she, she actually did this. You guys, it was about four of us and it looked like she was going to hit us. And the thing is her boyfriend's telling her, you know, stop, slow down. I'm reading their lips. And then she says, I'll run over them. Oh my God. I can't even lie to y'all. I snapped. I said, who you going to run over baby? Who you going to run over? Oh, yeah, yo, come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me. And, 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 you know, I had to catch myself because guess what? The enemy, you trying to get me out of character, but guess what? Oh, oh, oh y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. But but I digressed. I digressed, but I just let her know. Who, who you think you're going to run over, baby? Because this is my 73-year-old father, so you don't want no problems. Yeah, I said what I said. I'm a woman of God, but don't test me. Don't play me. Oh, I just said something. The enemy will try to test you. The enemy will try to play you. The enemy will try to confront you. You didn't hear what I just said. But the Bible says, be ye angry, but sin not. So I didn't go too far. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all want to hear what I just said this morning. But I felt tested that day. And so when I got home, I said, God, what was that about? He said, the enemy was trying to excite you. The enemy was trying to move you out of character. The enemy was trying to stop you. You didn't hear what I said. But I only went so far. You know what I'm saying? So in those attacks, you got to only go so far. I don't care if you're wrong or right. I just said so. Because most of you would have went too far. You don't have to go too far. The Bible says, be ye angry, but sin not. Jesus, they attacked him, but guess what? He knew his place. He knew his statue. Oh, I'm going to go here. He knew who he was. When you know who you are, you don't have to act like the enemy act. You don't have to do what the enemy do. Because guess what? You can't eat. You can't be evil with evil. Y'all in here, what I just said. Hallelujah. You cannot be evil with evil. But I tell you, God says, I'll be a friend to your friends, an enemy to your enemies. You don't hear what I just said. Hallelujah. Consistency. God, I need a relationship with you. I need to keep me keep you before me every day every day i don't care what happens i don't care if i have a good day or bad day come on somebody we're talking about emotional warfare as well so i just pray that you are strong in the lord that you continue to be strong in the lord because guess what the enemy is trying to excite you in this hour oh you thought i just told my story huh no i'm telling you what the enemy tried to do me and what he's trying to do you he's trying to excite us what does excite means he's trying to get us out of position i'ma lay so much on you and god is allowing it in this hour because guess what i want to see who you are god says i want to see how you act god says i want to see what you do god says i want to see how you respond come on somebody hallelujah you didn't hear what i just said Hallelujah. So I pray that you can continue to be strong in the Lord like never before. We are in perilous times, people. Please don't think it's a game. Please don't take it lightly. But you must act a certain way, talk a certain way, walk a certain way. Let's just go here. If Jesus Christ is with you, I want you to um, pitch in this. If Jesus Christ is with you every day, how would you really act? I mean, y'all hung together from, from morning to night. I bet you, 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 you be on your best behavior. You, you be, uh, how is it? I mean, you might even start talking thou, that. I'm just saying. You get holy like, like somebody else, huh? So the whole thing is, he is with you. Especially if you are filled with the Holy Ghost. So you have to watch how you act, how you talk, how you walk. Come on, somebody. He says, well, a lot, I like that little thing. It's a saying, what would Jesus do? Well, I'm asking you, what would you do? And what are you doing? We have to stay before God. Stay in prayer. Prayer, he says, prayer, prayer will keep you. Fasting will keep you. Oh, come on, people of God. That's how we're going to win in this hour. Don't let people move you out of position. That young girl tried to move me out of position. Now, back in the day, I don't know what would have happened. Truth be told, y'all know that. Don't play. Hallelujah. But my thing is this. We have to be God-like. We have to be Christ-like. I'm seeing so many people with anger and getting on Facebook and even pastors and preachers and teachers. What's wrong with you? Have you lost your mind? Have you lost your mind? Well, I pray that you find it because that is not of God. I don't care what a person do. And they could be wrong as two left shoes. God says, I am the vengeance. Meaning that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. You don't get to do what you say you want to do. You don't get to act this way. You don't get to talk this way. So I just pray that you stay focused. 
pray that you stay with God, stay on the fast. Remember, we are fasting from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., nothing but liquids. And then after that, it's a Daniel fast. Be consistent. Stay strong in the Lord. I love you all through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be encouraged, my brothers. Be encouraged, my sisters. Walk in positive. Come on, somebody. Speak the word. Work the word in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. I love you all. God bless. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.